Well, the wait is finally over. The Joker movie is here. I was cautiously optimistic. I had mentioned in the uh, trailer reactions, my personal view of the Joker does not coincide with what we are getting, but I am going to put that aside, put that totally aside, and just judge it on the merits and worth of its own self. <laughs> Gotta warn everybody up front, it's gonna be a spoiler-filled review, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Alright, you're here. So, to make sure we're on the same page, um, this is basically a amalgamation of origin stories from the comic book, obviously heavily, heavily taken from uh, The Killing Joke about how the Joker is actually just this guy and he's got a shitty life and so he goes insane. And um, unlike the comic books, um, he is sort of an unwilling agent of chaos uh, as opposed to the actual agent of chaos he is. And hilarity, aha! For the first time ever, that is an accurate statement. Hilarity ensues. Right, we start off with likes, and I gotta say that this this movie affected me on a on a, a very personal level, uh, as the best movies are wont to do. I realized that uh, going into that would probably bore the pants off of most people, so I'll stick to the film. Um, so with that said, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Phew, Unreal. Unbelievable. Uh, probably not since Heath Ledger. Has there been anybody that, that you know, did such a good job? Um, and I absolutely love to death the last ten minutes of the film. Um, which basically, obviously, is when he goes, you know, sort of full Joker. Um, I, you know, and they tie it into the whole Batman mythos. So, you know, in this case... The Joker was inadvertently responsible for the creation of Batman. Okay, fine. Um, what I, you know, by inspiring a riot. Um, and I, I'm torn. I'm torn. Uh, there's a, a part of me uh, that thought it would have been an amazing film, an amazing ending. If, it was, if when he was on the talk show with Robert De Niro, he actually went away with his plan. You know, he actually pulled his gun out, blew himself away. And I would have been like, awesome, okay, they didn't go that route. Um, they had him kill Robert De Niro instead, and I'm actually fine with that. I could see how that makes a little bit more sense for, for kind of what they were trying to do, and it allows them to continue on, it allows them to get captured by the police, and then become sort of the unwilling symbol of the uprise and the, the anarchy. Uh, you know, so they actually did get him being an agent of, of, of disruption and chaos, you know, eventually, um, which, yeah, that I like, because that's that's my Joker, you know, that's what he really is. Um, so, yeah, th th that performance, though, stand up, and, you know, um, Todd Phillips, you know, mostly known for turning a uh, Simpsons episode into a live-action movie, and in case you didn't know, The Hangover is not original in any capacity. There is a Simpsons episode wherein Homer and uh, Ned go to Vegas. There's Mike Tyson. There's a tiger. There's a tattoo. There's getting I mean, everything. It's just the Hangover is the live action version of that. Um, he has made the transition, you know, from sort of comedy. Um, he did a couple other ones outside of the Gigi Allen documentary. There's no comedy there. Um, into you know drama and and done it really well. Uh, you know, he he got a hell of a performance out of of Joaquin Phoenix. And, you know, told a, a compelling and interesting story of, you know, one man's eventual break with, with sanity. And they did a tremendous job chronicling that. Uh, again, uh, I'm, I'm viewing this more as he's not the Joker. Like, if you had not called this movie Joker, right? Uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, or John Portrait of a Serial Killer, uh, it would have been absolutely amazing. Of course, the 10 minutes at the end wouldn't have made much sense, but it would have been absolutely amazing. So I definitely have to give credit and props for them on that. All right, it is dislikes time, and I did not like the way that this film personally affected me. However, I'm not going to get into that, because people will be tuning out. So, uh, not much, really. Two 
things. Number one, minor criticism, but I personally think that the willing suspension of disbelief was stretched too far. Okay, sorry, but you're ostensibly putting this in the real world, quote unquote. There's not science fiction-y type stuff or fantasy stuff going on. As such, you can't kill three people on a subway with nobody noticing or even the conductor not sticking his head out the window and ending it. You can't steal paperwork from a insane asylum and walk out the front door. You know, a uh, little bit too much. That, that's all. Not, not the big deal. Second thing is, is um, the social commentary was by no means subtle. You know, um, Joker makes his speech at the end about, you know, people not getting comedy anymore. Um, the backdrop is the rich people suck. Uh, again, a little ham-handed on the message. Uh, but I will say that that's my thing because I don't go to the movies for that. However, saw it with a movie group and it rang true to so many people that saw it. Um, and I'm, I'm veering off into territory I said I wasn't going to get into, so I won't. Let's just say that, that I know why he put it in there and it did work. I just appreciate a little more subtle hand uh, when it comes to, to political commentary in my films. Personal preference. It is pinhead time, and this one's going to be real weird for me because my measure of the great, great movies, the, you know, the 2001s of this world, um, which there'll never be another 2001, but we won't get into that, is, you know, does it move you beyond entertaining you, you know? And I said in the beginning, this... This movie affected me. Doesn't, wasn't a good way. Doesn't have to be a good way. Just has to have that power. And this film did. So, I have no hesitation at all giving it five pinheads for its ability to move me. All right, what did you guys think? I have a funny feeling this is gonna open a can of worms. I may still defend my position that the Joker should be an agent of change and nothing else. He should not be a human being whatsoever, uh, but when I did that in the trailers, it did not go over very well. It fell on deaf ears. So, maybe I'll just limit myself to this movie. Either way, woof. I'd say let's get this conversation started, but I know it's going to happen.